Hey guys, how the hell are you? Today we're going to do an all new unbiased gear review on this, the Rev G4 Distortion Preamp Pedal. So first of all, thank you so much to Mr. Derek Eastveld from Rev Amplification for getting one of these into my hands forever ago. It's taken me a long time to finally get around to doing one of these videos, and for that, I sincerely apologize to you, man. This Because this is a pretty kick-ass little unit, and I should have done a video on this much, much sooner. This and the G3 as well. So... What we've got going on here is we've got a very, very sturdy metal housing, input, output, 9-volt DC jack on the top. We have bass, middle, treble, uh, volume control right here, as well as the drive uh, or gain control right over here. We also have an aggression switch right there in the middle that is currently set to off mode, but up is blue mode and red is red mode which is basically reminiscent of the highest gain channel of one of Rev's 120 generator amps. Um, this pedal is a searing molten metal distortion preamp pedal. So you can run it into the clean channel of an amp but really it works so much better as a preamp going into the effects return or just straight into a power amp in general. Um, this pedal definitely mimics the tone of a high gain channel on basically your favorite tube amp. This one being much more saturated though. So this is definitely a little bit more in the ballpark of like super pushed Marshall or even Mesa territory. Um, extremely saturated, extremely thick tones on tap here. I had a lot of fun with this. Even with the aggression switch turned to uh, the middle where it's essentially off for the aggression, it tends to give a really organic high gain breakup sound when you push the gain up pretty high. And when you dial the gain back, it actually gives you a much cleaner, more bluesier kind of crunch tone. Um, very kind of Texas and Delta Blues-ish kind of sound. And it sounds really, really good with single coils in that mode. Nice little high gain preamp pedal, perfect for running in front of your power amp or into the effects return. It 
uh, really, really, really does that super saturated high gain lead tone. So for those of us that like to have a lot more gain and saturation on the lead sounds, this is kind of the perfect little pedal uh, to run into the back of your head. This is an absolutely kick-ass little unit. I definitely recommend checking out this Rev G4. Okay guys, it's that time. What the hell am I drinking today? Let's go to the beer fridge and find out. Today from Barrel House Brewing Company, we are having their 2019 limited grog release. So this is an 11.8% alcohol by volume uh, imperial ale that is rum barrel aged. Pours a very reddish copper color. Minimal tan head. Hmm. For lack of a better description, kind of a nondescript aroma to it. Oh, but the flavor's there, though. Nice, sweet, a uh, little bit of molasses and toffee caramel in there. Um, mm, a little bit of kind of like a char bitterness in there. Kind of tobacco-ish. Um, mm. Yeah, definitely a little bit more burnt than I was expecting. Not necessarily a bad thing. It just means that it's uh, got a very, very kind of rich flavor to it. Probably a little bit of that bitterness is coming from the alcohol content, to be honest with you. But this is a very, very, very nice beer. I wouldn't say it's like upper echelon or anything, but it's definitely better than just solid. It's definitely a really, really good beer. So that's it for me. Leave your comment in the comment section below. Like this video. Subscribe to this channel. There's lots more content to come.